The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Wednesday pod. Oh. oh, yes. I'm just waiting for the AO, then I've got something interesting to say. Oh, the... Mm. Oh, yes. Well, I've really started to get into Michael Mosley now that he's passed away. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. He is so interesting. I had a really good podcast. <laughs> so I know I'm laughing. Oh, that's sad. You're into him when he's dead. Yeah, well, my dead dad was, all in, was into him, and I think because he was. I was oh, he, he wasn't even on my radar. He, I didn't. Go on. Follow him. Well, but tell me about him. I heard a po- conversation hang on, with him. Sorry. Do you need a tissue? Yeah. Are you happy, just happy or sad? You can never tell, can you? <laughs> that's, just hay, that's his hay yeah. fever that's neither yeah. happy or nor sad. Susie said that Michael Mosley's passed away. Yes. That's sad. what it is. But I heard a really interesting podcast with him yesterday. Uh, it well, was actually it a conversation. Yesterday. Oh, what day is it? No, she heard it yesterday. I heard it. Oh, yesterday. right. It was, yeah. No, it was, it was recorded in, front, in 2018. Post jump, post jumpously. Yeah, they put it yes. on ABC Conversation now because okay. he sadly passed away. But what he was talking about, which was interesting, is how there is they've discovered that there's actually brain cells in your gut. You know, they always talk about how gut health is so, so important. Is that the Parkinson's thing? Maybe, because it's a lot of it's to do with... Uh, if you've got bad gut health, it can lead to anti-inflammatory diseases, which I think Parkinson's yeah, they may were, fall under that category. They were saying that gut, good gut health can maybe help stop Parkinson's. Yeah. Re- recently they were saying that. So yeah. maybe it's all t- tied in the same yeah. thing. But he did an experiment where he swallowed a little camera down his throat. He swallowed it all the way down. It got stuck, he said, in his gullet, wherever the gullet is a bit. And he jumped up and down. And then he got to the next section and he couldn't, he couldn't feel it. And they used a magnet to um, manoeuvre it around his body. What? Isn't that interesting? Yeah, and then it went down the hole. He pooed it out. It went all the way, swallowed it all the way out his body and they could film everything there and to see exactly what's happening in your body. And really? He was saying how, yeah, it was so fascinating. The, the bottom, basically your intestine says so much about your health and your faecal, like your poo. Mm. And he even said, Michael Mosley, that he has heaps of poo he had heaps of poo in his freezer at home to collect and always testing himself. What? We do as well at ours, but that's Jodie's mum's cooking that she <laughs> leaves for the kids. I was not oh, expecting that, that's Jody. Very good. Oh, it is good, that is But yeah, yeah. So how did he so I don't I'm not fully across he yeah. someone was I was chatting to someone yesterday about it. He, did he he died because he's in Greece, yeah. went for a long walk, and didn't he die on the a border of like a bar or something? Like he was so yeah. close 90 to ninety seconds. Yeah. He said from a bar. Yeah, I've read a couple from of different bar, reports. Isn't it? Like a like a beachside oh, yeah, like shack. A yeah, they think he got disorientated because he they found him. They didn't find him covered in rocks anymore, guys. Right. He went for a walk from the beach, okay? He left his f- wife and another couple there to walk back to where he was staying in Greece. He made it to the first town, and then after the first town, he was meant to walk, say, left to get home, but he walked right, the opposite uh. direction, accidentally, they said. He must have walked accidentally. They got footage of him with an umbrella over his head, and then he must have got lost. And then they found him lying on his back now with his feet up in the air on a rock, which they think he was trying to... Have a rest. Have a rest and get blood back to his brain, they're saying. And he had a but he was really, heart attack or something. Well, just and his feet stayed in the air. What? On a rock, on a rock. Oh, leaning. On a rock. They oh. said his body was badly decomposed. Decompo- 40 degrees it would. Because they found Already. him three or four days after, and it was so hot that he's... 40 degrees. They're going to do an autopsy on him. Well, they have. But he was really close to... Civilization, like I thought, ninety meters, ninety seconds, same diff. Yeah, I, I heard ninety seconds. But was it Australian? So close, British. Mm. British fellow. British. He trained as a doctor, but he got we, into we health. Be used to the heat. And one of the last things he said was he doesn't want to die young like his dad, and his dad died at like seventy six. He literally said that. Or right, just before he died. He hey? did. Crazy. Because his dad had yeah. diabetes, and then Michael Mosley got um, diabetes. So he was a lot on health and had a. Uh, Work against diabetes, what's the word? Help diabetes without using drugs. Um, yeah. Was, was he super Manage fit? diabetes without... Yes. Yeah, yeah, crazy right. fit. And you like, said his dad used to just lie on the couch and watch sport and he died when he was 78 or something. 78, yeah, he died young at 78. 75 would have been. Or mm. whatever. Well, yeah, I can't remember the thing. And then that's how he got into it. And he was always about finding new health, like the fasting, he made that popular, that eating normally for five days and fasting for two. Uh, what well, else? not eating anything for two days. Or intermittent fasting. That's what it said. Yeah, that's what it did say. Two day fast. I've heard that. I've, heard, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Or in all different health things you can do to to manage your diabetes and health problems and like it was. Yeah. And but when listening to him, he's so engaging and interesting to talk about kind of topics that are hard. To, you know, sometimes can be a bit dry. I can see why he was 
popular mm. in the media. Mm. And that is sad that he ended up, yeah. Yeah, and they end up being more popular after they die. Mm. Like I'll mate, the chef. Anthony Bourdain. Mm. Oh, sh- yeah. yeah. I was a bit like that. Same thing, hey. That's a hard way to go as well, isn't it? Like, imagine oh, that. Oh, dying slowly of like, heat. Heat exhaustion. Well, yeah, maybe he had a heart attack or something. Yeah. yeah. It, was in the, it was resting okay. in the shade. He could have been resting Actually, in the shade. That sounds and then... I think the heat was responsible for the decomposing. Mm. Mm. He might have just passed out from... Um, like, Lack of water? Yeah, and then the heat got him in the end. Mm. Anyway, it was... He definitely shut that camera out, though, did he? Because he might have had his legs in his ear trying to... <laughs> He VCR. did, you know why I know that? No, he was, well, he was a VCR, mate. You know oh. why I know that? Oh. Whatever, whatever. It, whatever. <laughs> Digital camera. On a serious night, he had it in the in the interview, he had it on the table. Oh, okay. He, he washed, washed it. it. He washed it, 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 it and he out. said, he was going, this is my camera. Did it have a light on it? Oh, I must have. Maybe infrared? That's a good question. Night vision. You can Google. He said you can Google the footage if you go to YouTube. Maybe I'll do that. Check that out today. <laughs> The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.